Hello designers, my name is Urban Monzon. I'll be your host for today's video and I'm excited to share with you the latest design feature that allows you to do multiple characters. Let's start off with a new project and we're going to do a scene with two photorealistic characters that I've already trained. We're going to select 69 for the aspect ratio. On the left we're going to select character, consistent character, and assuming you've already trained your characters, you should find all of them here. I'm going to go ahead and select my character. His name is Jake and I'm going to input a prompt here. Now, should you want to change the appearance and outfit of your character, you want to do it on the top prompt area here. This area is dedicated to the look of your character. And below is a description of the action and scene that you want to do. In this case, I have my character Jake sitting in a rustic cafe with his girlfriend, basically having a discussion. I'm going to go ahead and generate a few images and pick the best one. And what we're doing here is that we're just creating the main scene and we're going to use the second person as a placeholder. Out of all the generations, I like this one. They're gazing into each other's eyes. So romantic. And you'll notice under here you see insert character. This is the first way where you can use the insert character feature. The second way is just by going to the menu, clicking on character, and then you'll see it here. Either way works, but since you have it here, we're going to go ahead and click two to import this one to the canvas. On the top left panel, you'll see mark an area for editing. You have three options, lasso, brush, or auto. And this is just three ways where you can make a selection. If we use auto, we can just click on the person and it's going to automatically select the person. And that can work. It's just if your character has a different body shape, you might not want to do it this way. Or you can use the lasso tool to add more around her. If you select brush, you can just simply brush on the character here. Kind of time consuming though, but for this demo, we're going to use the lasso tool. So what we're going to do is just do an outline and leave a little bit of space around the person. You also have options to either select, unselect, invert, or clear. At this point, we want to select choose the character to bring in our second consistent character. So I'm going to select April, who I've again pre-trained already. And a quick little tip for you, since it's the same scene, we can just hover over the info button here and copy that same prompt. Just be mindful, it's going to copy everything, even the character's description. So you want to remove that part. And then we just have to adjust the prompt accordingly. But as usual, be as descriptive as possible. Now, if you're working on a scene where the clothing has to be consistent, make sure to input that information as well into the character description. In my case, April was wearing a black dress, so I put that information in. Let's generate a few images here and see what we get. And yeah, looks fantastic though. April's a little overdressed for having coffee in a cafe. Now I know what you're thinking already. How does it do when the characters are really interacting, maybe dancing or embracing each other? This time I'm going to use April as the main image and bring in the other character. I've already set up my prompt here and we're going to put them in a ballroom scene where they're dancing. This one looks really nice. I like the composition, the arrangement. So we're going to go ahead and click one to place it on the canvas and insert the character. Once again, I'm just going to use the auto select to get the general selection. Now, if you have good hands in the photo, I encourage you to select unselect and I'm going to use the brush this time and we're going to remove the selection from the hands. Just in case when we regenerate it might mess up the hands, we want to keep those good hands, right? And like before, I'm going to use the lasso tool and select selection and we're just going to increase the selection just a little bit here. Now let's insert the other character. In the character description, I'm going to adjust his clothing to match the scene. Obviously, we don't want him dancing with April with street clothes on, right? Then once again, I'm going to copy the previous prompt and just paste it in here. And again, you want to adjust your prompt accordingly. Let's go ahead and generate a few. And there you go. It sort of looks like they're mid-conversation, just having a great time. The images blend well together. And if I zoom in here, if you look at the lighting, see that little rim on their foreheads? It has a slight backlit effect. Definitely some great results. Now you're not limited to the way I just showed you. You can even start with an image you like, like this one. 
I'm going to go ahead and place it on the canvas. Since there's no character to insert it here from the results area, we can go into the left panel under character and select insert character. And we're going to select my 3D Pixar style character. His name is Jimmy. And let's put him running in the park. And then I'm just going to lasso in the area he'll be running here. We'll generate some images. Now the tricky part is getting the correct scale. So you want to make sure that you're masking enough of the area, but also not too much where the proportions look weird or too little where it just looks too small for that certain perspective. So it might take some experimentation. Yeah, this one turned out pretty good. So let's bring that into the canvas. And to challenge myself, let's see if we can actually put a character on the swing. And for this one, we're going to use the pre-trained character Lip Boy. And in the prompt, we'll put him in the park on the swing. And let's see if we can actually do this. Aha, success. <laughs> He's actually even holding the swing cables and looking at Jimmy. Now, he does naturally have a big head, but I think the perspective looks pretty good. Let's put that onto the canvas there. Amazing. Now, obviously, you would have to do some touch-ups like to the hands. Maybe you want to insert more characters into the scene. With this new insert character feature, it has opened so much possibilities to how you compose your images. Now, if you have any questions or feedback, make sure to leave it in the comments below. And in case you're new to design and you're wondering how to train your own character, make sure to check out these videos right here. Until the next video, my friends, I'll see you when I see you.